Hey guys, welcome to my home setup. I've just set up my whole media center. Um, it's running off a Mac Mini, which is now hooked into a Yamaha DSPA1 amp. It's beautiful Mirage speakers, and the Mac Mini is hooked directly into my TV. 46-inch LED Samsung, an amazing TV. Well, running Plex, it's I've loaded all of my movies on my music, my TV shows. It's got number of video channels that you can hook into YouTube, WIMP, Vimeo, etc, etc picture channels, if there's anything in pictures that you like, Flickr, etc, etc and music channels, YouTube, um, iTunes, Plex Podcast and a few other things well just to show you, if you go into TV shows on the right hand side you've got something called your deck now if you zoom in let's have a look on the right hand side you've got something called your deck which is everything that's currently showing at the moment that you're busy watching so we season 1 episode 1, revolution, season 1 episode 10 finished watching that, charmed, my name is old, gates, slack bladder etc etc you can no matter what you press on it will carry on from where you left off so if you left off in the middle of an episode it will carry on from the middle if you left off at the end of episode 3 season 1 to carry on with episode 4. On the left hand side you've got anything that's recently added so Strike Back is a, a season series that I've recently managed to get my hands on and so far it looks fantastic. Big Bang Theory busy filling in the blanks with that. Again with movies on the right hand side things you're currently watching so Vampires, Psych, Dark Shadows it might have been things that you're currently watching or you have watched. Um, Death Proof, you know, Death, Death Proof 3, 2012 Doomsday, Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, Moby Dick, terrible, terrible show, Dark Metropolis. On the left hand side, it's things that you've recently added. So Skyline, Iron Sky, Grabbers, Killer Joe, Hotel Transylvania, Trouble with Curve, Little Bit Zombie, That's My Boy, a number of other things. Um, if you go into one of them, if you go into movies, you can go into recently released, you can go into all movies which lists absolutely every single movie that you own which is over 800 movies I've got if you go into recently released it lists the most recently released movies that I currently have on the system it all automatically downloads from IMDB to fill in the covers, the information um, actors, length, details, ratings, writers, directors fantastic system. You can view by year, by release date, by genre, by collection, decade, starring actors, so you can go into an actor and you can have a look at Aaron Eckhart and so far I've only got those two. Meet Bill, Thursday. Right, again on TV shows, if you go directly into TV shows you can have a look at all shows that you've got. So if you go into one of them, Big Bang Theory, it immediately starts playing. It immediately starts playing the 30 seconds of the theme tune. Season two, it lists whether you've watched it, whether it's unwatched, so you can just carry on from where you were. Black Adder, Chuck and Covert Affairs, Dark Angel, and it lists all of the episodes. Automatically getting the screens on the left-hand side from a section within the movie itself. The background, it pulls down from online, as well as, well as the description. Season one, season two covers, and the main cover automatically pulls down. Anything that's unwatched, you can list it by episode. So Chuck, I've got 19 unwatched. Covert Affairs, 11 unwatched. Deadliest Catch, three unwatched, etc., etc. And that goes all the way down. Game of Thrones, one of my favourite episodes. You can also control the volume directly from here. Okay, so if you go into your TV shows once again, recently added, recently aired episodes, recently viewed shows on deck by genre, year, etc, etc. 
So if we go into one of the TV shows, you can go into, let's go into Revolution, start from the beginning. You can choose to start from the beginning or where you most recently left off. Let's just cue this little bit. You can press T to view information about the episode that's currently watching. Turn the volume up, pause, stop, rewind, absolutely everything from the side here. As you can see, the queuing is very, very smooth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Along with movies, let's go left onto recently added. Iron Sky, let's see what that's about. Okay, Nazis in space on the dark side of the moon. Thank you. Okay, 7 minutes 32 seconds, let's leave that. Let's go into your deck, Iron Sky is there, 7 minutes 33 seconds, resume from there. Okay, fantastic. Again, with music, you can load music directly into this itself, um, or you can go into it automatically into iTunes. And then iTunes, you've got all of your artists, compilations, albums. Um, here you've got to maintain covers and everything yourself if it's not automatically done by iTunes itself. Um, you can go now into playlists up here. When I see you shine, and just play the playlist. It feels like I'm Let's come out of that, stop that. If you go into your TV shows, it automatically, the background automatically slides through your backgrounds to all of your TV shows you've currently got. It does the same thing with music, movies, Shaun the Sheep, um, and everything else you've got loaded in here. A beautiful little system. <laughs> Two and a half men. Now if you go up here, you can go to search, and let's search for cage. Movies in a glass cage, actors, Nicholas Cage, videos, it automatically automatically downloads from YouTube anything pertaining to Cage. So actors, we can go to Nicholas Cage and list all of the movies that Nicholas Cage stars in that I've currently got on my system, the outsiders. And you can search for anything like Actors, you can search for movies. So if you search for the word front, we've got Frontier, Star Trek the Frontier, episodes, front porch, how to mother, songs and videos from YouTube. So if we go into video channels, back into media, video channels, we can go to YouTube. In YouTube we can go to videos. Today most viewed and it lists everything like this. Play video. And it plays the video live from YouTube. Okay, so for this prank, what I did was I built this car seat costume. And uh, what I'm gonna do <laughs> Petition to deport peers. If anyone's watched this show. Few weeks, taken yeah, so all of that streams live directly from YouTube. And inside of that, today, this week, this month, most recent search videos, um, you can have a look at trailers. So, aren't any at the moment. And this is the system that I'm running. I'm currently running this, hosted off my server, running off my Mac Mini, uh, 2012 Mac Mini. Um, what I am going to do is move all of my files from my PC onto a NAS. The NAS will basically just house all of the drives so I don't use my PC as the server. It will just all run off the Mac Mini. Now something that's even better than all of this is, let's zoom out a bit, my iPad. Now my iPad hooks directly into everything. Now, as you can see, I've got here, I've got movies, music, TV shows. Let's go into TV shows. We can actually list all of our TV shows here. What you can do from here 
is we can pick something. So let's go into Fringe and we can go into Season 4. It also plays the theme music and you can press it. And that plays it automatically on the TV. Let's go back, all shows. Let's go into How I Met Your Mother. All episodes, let's watch that one. And it automatically updates there. Again, from here, you've got a remote control so you can cue. You can change the volume. I'm going to teach you how to live. And you can press stop. So let's close out of that. Press stop. Go to my phone. And the first thing I do is I go into Plex. It's reconnecting to the system. Close that. Let's go into music. And I want to listen to Elise. And let's listen to this song here. And it automatically plays it. So this works via Wi-Fi from anywhere in the house. So inside of here I can swipe across and I can change the volume of it from anywhere in my house. I've got a remote control of absolutely everything. Close, close. Buena Vista Social Club, all tracks, let's have a look at what I want to play. And there's Buena Vista Social Club playing. Now let's say I want to come out of this and I actually want to watch something on my phone. Or let's say on my iPad. What then happens is on my iPad I will go and I'll change it from the player from my Mac Mini to my iPad. Go out of this, go out of the shows, go home because I want to go into movies. Now inside of movies I might want to watch 500 Days of Summer. I'll click on that and it all plays on my iPad. So while this is playing on my iPad, I can now go to movies or TV shows and carry on watching How I Met Your Mother on my TV. While watching this on my iPad, I can watch it on my cell phone as well. Fantastic little system. So guys, let me know what you think.